There's a whole world out there that you don't even know exists. It's a world where flow state, intense focus, productivity and motivation isn't just a dream, but it's reality. Where you can wake up every day with the energy and the passion for the projects that you're working on. But the route to get there may seem pretty hazy. You see, the only way that you're going to make a difference in the world and become great at your chosen pursuit is to master yourself and your own brain. Just think, what's the biggest constraint holding you back right now? It's definitely not time because we all have the same 24 hours in the day. You're a young guy with no responsibilities and you have the ability to take risks and go all in on your purpose. Even if you have a job or family commitments or even don't think it's the right time to start chasing your dreams, these are all just micro excuses that you know that deep down aren't actually constraints holding you back. Because these are all so easy to overcome when you're young and have no responsibility. And it's not lack of direction because there's so much information out there showing you the exact step-by-step -step process of how to start literally any business and become successful at it. Whatever you want to do, it's so easy to come up with a plan and gather the knowledge to make it work. And it's certainly not lack of options because we're at a special time in history at the moment where the internet has made entrepreneurship so much easier than it's ever been before. So you've got an abundance of information, an abundance of potential clients, an abundance of time to execute. But the question is, why haven't you been successful yet? Well, it all comes down to one constraint, the one that everyone faces at the start of their entrepreneurial journey. It's your ability to focus and get deep work done. Because although the internet has made business 10 times easier, it's also made it 10 times harder if you don't know how to leverage it to your advantage. It's a literal distraction machine designed to keep you coming back for more and spending more and more time consuming things that don't actually move the needle forward in your business. Just think how many times you set goals for yourself to achieve in the day and not even come close to getting them all done. All because you don't have the focus required to actually do the work regardless of your circumstances. Or maybe you do get all the work done, but it comes with the cost of working 12 hours of unproductive pseudo deep work a day. It doesn't have to be like this. Because the truth is anyone can unlock the power of their own brain to become focused, productive and get more work done than you ever thought possible and get it done in less time. All you have to do is listen to what I'm about to say and it may change your life forever. So over the last three years, I've been on a journey to do exactly this. And over the course of this three day event, The Evolution, I'm going to show you exactly step by step how to do it as well. My journey all started back when I was a university student studying maths. And I knew that the generic route of getting a job after university just wasn't for me. But the question was, what was I going to do about it? I had a maths degree that I was studying for, an investment portfolio that I was managing, and also a business that I was trying to start on the side as well. Little did I know, but the choices that I was making would take me down a path of not just business growth, but intense personal growth as well. I found that every time I faced a problem in either my business life or my personal life, it would always come back to my ability to take action and the constraint I mentioned before of focus. But every problem that I was facing could easily be solved because other people had done it before, so I knew it was possible. Any time I felt unmotivated, there was a reason. Any time I felt unproductive, there was a reason. Any time that I couldn't focus and couldn't stay motivated, there was a reason. And the journey that I set out on over this three year time period was finding solutions for all of these problems. I wasn't going to let my success be determined by outside factors and instead I took responsibility for learning how the brain actually worked and highly effective practices that I could use to increase my performance as an entrepreneur. You see, James Clear, the author of Atomic Habits says, entrepreneurship is a personal growth engine disguised as a business pursuit and he's massively right on this. I mistakenly thought that entrepreneurship was all about knowledge and gathering as much knowledge as possible, and it's what I'd been conditioned to believe in the school. That the more I learned about business and studied the greats, the more successful that I would be. But I was totally wrong, because learning the fundamentals of business doesn't actually take that much time at all. But you know what will actually take up all your time and effort if you want to be successful? It's taking action and actually using focus to turn what you've learned into a reality. Now there are really only two ways that you can become focused and take the action required to become successful. These are going to be mental frameworks that rely on conceptual ways to think about focus and then also the actual underlying biology that helps it function. So in episode two of the evolution, we're going to be taking more of a deep dive into the neuroscience and biolog biological ways that you can increase your focus and become productive. But today I'm going to be sharing with you a framework that shows just how important focused effort actually is and why it's really the only thing holding you back from success. 
And it all starts with the fact that productivity as you know it is pretty much bullshit. You've probably read loads of books telling you about how to become more productive and they all revolve around the key concept of doing more. And on service level, it kind of makes sense, right? If you want to achieve more, you've got to do more and spend more time doing it. The more you put in, the more you get out. But what these books and mainstream advice fails to recognize is that this is just a one-way ticket to becoming overwhelmed, burnt out, and unmotivated in your business. So the actual secret to success is doing less, but doing it better than everyone else. And the number one constraint not allowing you to do this at the moment is your focus. You think that you're being productive by watching all of these YouTube videos and reading all of these books, but you fail to do what's actually required to move the needle, and that's just getting the work done. And all of this can be explained by a simple diagram that you've probably seen used before by successful entrepreneurs like Alex Becker and Sam Ovens. You see, the only thing that you have in life that determines your focus and therefore your success is actually energy. But the problem is most people split their energy up into too many different avenues, so never actually become focused on one specific goal. Whether that be multiple products that you're trying to launch, multiple social medias that you're trying to grow, or loads of different friendship and gossip that you're just trying to keep up to date with in your personal life. All of these are going to be sapping your energy and your focus from achieving your number one goal. Because if you've ever done any business research whatsoever, then you'll know that at the start, all you need to succeed is one customer avatar, one channel, and one offer for a problem that you're solving. That's it. For example, I help young entrepreneurs condense their workday down into just six hours by harnessing extreme focus and I use YouTube to find my audience. Anytime that I've tried to solve more than one problem for more than one type of person and focused on more than one social media channel, everything else starts to just fall apart. So let's sum it all up in one diagram. At the moment, this circle is you. Because you're splitting your focus and energy between loads of different avenues, you make tiny progress in lots of different things. So there's 10 arrows in this diagram, so let's say you have 10 units of energy. What starts to happen when you condense your focus into one specific pursuit is that you can actually build these units on top of each other and make 10 times more progress than everyone else. So instead of posting on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, and LinkedIn, and getting a thousand views per post, you can just post on YouTube and instead get 10,000 views per post. Maybe instead of having three different businesses that make you a thousand pound a month, you can have one business that makes you 10,000 pound a month because this is the power of compounding. By splitting your focus up into different areas, you're never allowing your returns to compound up in one. So let's look at another graph that shows results against effort. By splitting your effort into many different areas, you keep switching graphs. So you have an Instagram graph, a TikTok graph, a YouTube graph, a Twitter graph, and none of them ever really get going. You just end up with loads of different graphs that all look like the start of an exponential curve instead of having just one graph that looks like this. By applying your focus and energy into just one avenue and simplifying your life, you get exponential returns, putting you miles ahead of your competition, but are stuck multitasking every day because that's what they've been told to do by the mainstream. So I'm sure I persuaded you now how important this is, but the next question is, how do you actually simplify everything and know exactly what you need to do? Well, the most important part of this revolves around time planning and routine. You need to know exactly what you should be doing and when you should be doing it every single day. Because the moment that you start to lose direction is the moment that your monkey brain will start to take over and your subconscious will think it's a good idea to try and do more rather than less. You look at any successful entrepreneur, they didn't get to where they are by just doing what they felt like doing, they got there by taking focused action on one plan that they've set for themselves and using rigorous routine to do that. And if anyone tells you that you can start a business by doing what you feel like, not having a plan and no routine, they don't want you to succeed and they're lying to you. So set yourself a plan and set a routine to be able to follow this plan every single day and then execute every day with extreme focus. Because if you don't have a plan, you're going to become part of somebody else's. Now, what I've explained to you in this video is just the start. You now understand how important focus is and how important it is to have a routine and a plan that you can execute that focus with. And biologically, how do you actually become focused and enable yourself to do the deep work that you need to do? Well, that's exactly what I'll be revealing to you in episode two, the three pillars of superhuman performance. I'll see you there.